the deal, you know what's up You ain't the only one Favorite girl waking up in my bed, it's only right Bad bitch, my only type Independent too, get it boo, just Hey guys, it's Sarah. So, I don't know about you, but 2017 is going by really slow. Like, just this past week has gone by way too slow. Like, I just wanted to be 2018. But then again, I don't think I should rush it because I don't want to go back to school. That's a thing. <laughs> Anyway guys, in today's video, there's a lot of speculation, analysis, but it's all good because it's revolved around Larry. So without further ado, here's the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. So, for the longest time, there's always been speculation about whether One Direction have Facebook accounts, private Twitter accounts, or just any account that's not their verified Twitter account. And us being the One Direction fandom, we're always being the FBI, we are always searching to find the other boys' accounts. So basically, an account that's been brought up to my attention is this supposed Harry Styles Facebook account. But if you guys read the title of the Facebook account, it's not named Harry Styles, it's called Mick. Greenberg. And as you can see, the cover photo has Robin, Anne, and Harry, and the cover photo is Harry and Mitch. So I don't know about you guys, but I've actually heard of the name Mick Greenberg before. And if you guys don't, this says, is this definitive proof Harry Styles has been writing songs under the name Mick Greenberg? And this says, One Direction's Harry Styles has been writing songs under the name Mick Greenberg. Whether those songs are about Taylor Swift is for you to decide. Well, I don't think so. But yes, that is true. Harry has written other songs under that name before, apart from One Direction. I think he's written with like Megan Trainer. he's written with Codaline, and I think he's written with Alex and Sierra as well with the song I Love You, which is a fantastic song. But going back to the supposed Facebook account, this is one of the posts Mick Greenberg posted. So thankful to be home for Christmas, spent tonight out for dinner for a special someone's birthday, and now I'm tucked up on the sofa wrapping presents. Doesn't get any better than this. It has three and one likes. Another post from the account says, keep your business to yourself. Remember to trust no one but yourself. You are the only reliable person in your life. Now, again, judging by these posts, I can't really tell if this is Harry or not. Like, it sounds like something he would say, but again, it's hard to tell because anybody can fake an account these days. But if you guys search further through the account, you can see the relationship status says in a relationship and life events say 2017, Mick Greenberg and Louis Tomlinson are in a relationship. They got engaged in 2015 and got married. Now look, again, anybody can fake a Facebook account so you can make up anything you want on the page. We all know this. <laughs> and here's the thing, guys. I believe in Larry, even if they're not together right now, I do believe 100% that they were together in the past as boyfriends, but I never really believed that they were actually married. Like, Louis's still making music, Harry's doing his thing, and I can't really see, especially Louis, wanting to settle down that young. I can only see them as, like, boyfriends. And it's okay if you guys don't think the same thing, that's just my opinion. And also, on the account, there's a life event that says, in a relationship with Louis Tomlinson, December 23rd, and it has the picture of them both together. So, what do you guys think? Does this account look legit to you, or do you think someone just made it up? Because it's very easy for people to do that. And I don't think this is enough proof for me to believe that it's actually Harry's Facebook. Like, do I believe that the boys have other private accounts? Yes. But I'm not really sure if this is one of them. Throughout the years of this fandom, I've gotten a ton of accounts sent to me, like, Sarah, check out this account, check out this account. Is this Harry's? Is this Louie's? I've seen a lot. So why would this one be any different? I'm just reviewing it because this was like blowing up on Twitter and people were sending it to me. I think this might just be like the other accounts. It's just a fan who wants attention. And I don't think we should really fall into this trap again. Like, yeah, it'd be nice if this was actually Harry's Facebook account because I'd cry. And I think there might be more analysis related to this whole thing. I didn't screenshot everything. So this is all I gathered for this. So tell me what you guys think below. Also regarding Larry analysis, someone sent me a post of what Louis said in an interview that ties to Harry. So Louis says, my favorite song of 2017, I'm gonna say Kendrick Lamar, Love. It's not normally my style of music, but I'm just obsessed with the melody of the song and the lyrics are amazing and he's amazing. Now, how this ties to Harry is that back in September, Harry was seen wearing a Kendrick Lamar damn hoodie out in Los Angeles. So basically, people were taking Louis liking a Kendrick Lamar song 
and relating it to Harry wearing Kendrick Lamar merch back in September. Again, guys, I don't know if this would be proof. This doesn't prove they're together. I think all it means is that Louis and Harry both like Kendrick Lamar, which could also prove that they're just friends you know, to the antis. So no, I don't think this means anything, but it's just funny how everything Louis and Harry do somehow relate back to each other. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Also regarding Louis and Harry, um, they might be collabing on a new song. So it all started when we got this headline from People Music that says Louis Tomlinson will release a new track with former bandmate Harry Styles. I don't know about you guys, but I always hate when they say former bandmate. Like, I know One Direction aren't technically a band right now, but it's not like they've permanently broken up. But anyway, the article goes on to say that his record label confirmed us that he already recorded a new song with his former bandmate Harry Styles. The song will be called Yours and it will be featured in Tomlinson's debut album and they promise that the fans and the public in general will love it. Okay guys, listen, if this is true, I'm gonna die. Like, this would be great. Like, we need this in 2018. But, what I will say is, don't get your hopes up. Because there's been so many times in this fandom, we will believe something, whether that be an article, a photo, a video, etc. Whatever. And then, what do you know? It's not true. And especially, guys, when you see something in print, it doesn't mean it's true. Because Louie never said anything about it. There's no video, there's no audio. It is only in text. So, anybody could have just wrote this. And we all know that just because it's a news source, it doesn't mean it's reputable. There are a lot of journalists who just want to get their story out the fastest and they don't care about research. They don't care about facts. So maybe this is an article where they just heard something from somebody else and they put their own twist on it and they want clicks. Because I mean, look at the headline. That is total clickbait if it's not true. That's all these people want. They actually don't care about One Direction, Harry Styles, Louis Tomlinson, whatever. They just want you to click on the article because that's their job. So yes, I want this to be true, but there's no proof of it. Louis hasn't said anything. It is only in print. So I don't want to get my hopes up. So I think for now, I'm just going to say it's not true. And now in my last topic, Louis went to Twitter and he was interacting with fans again, which I really love. I just want Louis to tweet me. I don't care if he drags me. I just want some interaction. I want him to acknowledge my existence. Thank you. But anyway, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because Louis responded to a fan that was talking about how meet and greets are kind of unnecessary, they're a lot of money, and Louis replied to her saying that he might have a competition to make it free. So this person says, am I the only person who wouldn't buy a meet and greet for Louis or anyone? Like the whole concept in general is weird to me, like just paying to meet someone. And then Louis replied, I have to say I agree with this to a certain extent. I don't think it's a fair system. I mean, literally guys, it is not a fair system because at the end of the day, it comes down to who has the most money. And that could be a person who's not even a fan. And that's happened many times. There's people who will get front row tickets to a concert and they're like semi a fan, but they have money, and then there's me, hardcore One Direction fan, and I've never gone to a concert, and I might get back seats. Yeah, that's the system. So Louis says, I was thinking about doing some kind of competition to make it fair. It shouldn't be about who has the most money. Sorry for preaching. Whichever way we end up doing it, I'll make it as fair as possible. And the person says, what about free meet and greet then? And Louis says, you're starting to understand the concept of a competition. Huh, <laughs> lol. Louis goes on to say, nothing set in stone yet, and always taking your comments on board. Loads of love. Okay, this is why I love Louis, because he takes the time out of his day to talk to the fans and consider their needs and he is doing this for us like this is proof that he loves us so much like we've given to Louie so now he's giving back to us I mean it's like a two-way relationship works both ways so again as Louie said nothing is set in stone but if he makes a competition so it's more of like a free meet and greet type of thing that would be the best thing ever and I think other artists should do the same but here's the thing about a competition I would be competing against millions of other fans, so I barely have a chance. <laughs> so it's kind of like a lose-lose situation, so like whatever Louis does, it's gonna be hard to do it anyway. But hey, I appreciate Louis for trying because that means a lot. And now to wrap up this video, Louis recently was answering a bunch of questions and it was really funny, he's so cute. <laughs> I'm Louis Tomlinson and Spotify have asked a hundred of my fans a series of questions. I'm gonna try and guess uh, the royal family. We've got a countdown. Oh, ding, ding, ding. 
drinking tea. I, I just I just had a couple right, right now, so I can just that bit. Uh, yeah, what, six people said the Royals? Mm, yeah, I got that one then. Okay. Sleeping bag. Mm. One person's in a sleeping bag, including me. Okay, so what's that? Seven in my total. Right, this is a good start. Well, it's kind of a trick question, isn't it? There's not really many Christmas movies you watch that not at Christmas. Uh, maybe Elf? Elf? I'm seeing some points on the board here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like the obvious choice. Okay, what want I get 11, though, for Elf. Okay, okay. Um. Um. Sure, what, uh, sure it's the Spice Girls. Spice Girls. Okay. Smashed it there, look at that, 67. Okay, 16 for Spice Girls. Bit of a theme throughout here, but yeah, we're doing all right, okay. So it's isn't mine, this is the most popular answer. Um, it's, it's gotta be pizza, surely it's pizza, surely. Sushi, come on. Pizza, look at that, finally, scroll on the board. 59, lovely, okay. I gotta be honest with you guys, when it comes to those type of videos, I usually don't watch them, but because it's Louis, I'm just so drawn to it, like his facial expressions, how he speaks, like just the way he is, like his little snarky comments, like just the way he answers questions, like I love it, he just makes it so much more interesting. Whereas if somebody else did it, I don't know if I would have watched the whole thing. And that's what's so cool about Louis, like he's so unique with his personality, and I think that's why a lot of us love them. Anyway guys, write all your thoughts about everything below. And like always, I make a new video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. What should they do, Harry? They should subscribe to this channel. There you go. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.